In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a data product in Starburst Galaxy from a schema that has no metadata. Let's get started. I've logged into my Galaxy account, and the first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm using a role that has permission to create a data product. The account admin role does have this permission, so I'm all set there. Starburst Galaxy's built-in role-based access control feature allows you to assign permissions so that other roles besides account admin can create data products if you'd like, but I'm happy to use the account admin role for now. Now I'm going to find the schema that I want to promote to a data product, and I can do that in the Catalogs pane. So I'll click Catalogs here on the left, and I'm going to use the Catalog Explorer to find my schema. So the first thing I want to do is expand my PostgreSQL Burst Bank Catalog, and then the schema that I'm looking for is Burst Bank with Stats, so I'll click on that. And as you can see, that opens up the information page for the Burst Bank with Stats schema. And then all I have to do is go over here and click Promote to Data Product. I want a meaningful name that will be helpful for data consumers looking for this data product. So I'm going to call this Burst Bank. And then in the summary box, I'm going to add a description of the data that's included in this data product. The description box gives you a lot of flexibility to add things like images, links, and code snippets. You have to use Markdown for this box, and you can find guidance on using Markdown in our docs. You can click this little button here to be taken to that page. I'm just going to paste in the markdown that I have for this data product. Okay, so now that I've pasted that in, I can preview description here to see what it looks like when it's been rendered. And you can see it's nicely formatted that for me, and I even have an image in there. The default cluster that I want is the AWS US East One free cluster, so I'll click that. When I go to query my data product, that cluster will already be selected for me. I can add as many links as I want down here. And just as an example, I'm going to add Google for a link. And then finally, I'm going to add myself as a contact. OK, so I'm all set and I'm ready to promote to data products. So I'll click this button. Now you can see that Burst Bank has been added to my list of data products. And I'm going to click View Details here just to see what it looks like. And if I scroll down and take a look, you can see all the information that I added. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.